So today we want to show how you can make a vocal booth out of the pallets. You know, we gotta find a way to keep the cost down. Huh. They say there is no free lunch, but apparently there is free wood. So now, how would I call that? Um, would it be a paleo wood, pallet wood, pallet vo bus, pallet vo bus? That's how we're gonna call it. It's gonna be all pallet vo bus. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a pallet vo bus. Sounds Italian too. First, we're gonna have our components. First, we're gonna have pallets. <laughs> Then we need mass-loaded vinyl, and I explain later what's uh, this for. Uh, we're also gonna need some fabric to wrap it up, uh, acoustic blankets, obviously, and we're also gonna use these pads as a decoupler to separate from the structural noise. And also, we're gonna need some uh, glass wool, rock wool, and some other stuff to make it nice. I also found this door. It's a little moldy, but it's okay. We'll fix it, it's gonna look fine. And uh, that's what we're gonna show you today. So what is the purpose of the vocal booth? The vocal booth actually has to meet two requirements. First, it needs to be soundproof, and then it has to be acoustically treated. So that means it has to prevent all the echo, all the reflections, all the sound uh, bouncing inside, and create nice dead space. So these two objectives are uh, achieved by two different means. To create the soundproofing, it, the walls have to be heavy, they have to be dense. At the same time, it has, the booths have to be airtight. Otherwise, if there is a little hole over there, that's where the sound's gonna go in. That's what we want to achieve with the boost to soundproof. And to make it Acoustically treated, what's important that the sound does not bounce back when uh, inside the booth, especially in the small confined spaces, it becomes a big issue. So these two objects we want to achieve. And funny enough, the pallet, the pallet is very conducive to create that objective. Because if you're gonna find the pallet that have dense walls over here, we're gonna put mass-loaded vinyl that creates the mass on this side, and on this other side, we're gonna stuff the rock wool that will be absorptive. So this side's gonna be on the inside, that side's gonna be on the outside, so that's the pallet. <laughs> mass-loaded vinyl, one of the soundproofing measures. Mass-loaded vinyl is pretty much a rubber impregnated with sand, is sand of barium, to make it very happy. It's heavy, happy, heavy, uh, to make it very heavy. And uh, this one is specifically designed to stop the sound. And the one that we have, it's actually have the uh, liner on the back to make it stronger. Otherwise, it can be very easily, you know, broken and separated. But that's what it is. So this, we're gonna put this on the outside to block the sound. Another feature we're gonna use is this pad. This is spring pad and with the rub over there. The purpose of that, if you probably saw the uh, structural noise, we have the video about the structural noise, what it is. Uh, the noise comes not only airborne, but it only can come through the structure, through the building itself. So we're gonna use that underneath for the platform. So that would make our booth soundproof. 
and we're gonna line it up with mass loaded vinyl. We're gonna make sure that it's uh, airtight and we're gonna put it on the uh, spring loaded platform so it decouples it and separates it from the floor and will cancel the structural noise transmission. Now, how do we create the acoustic treatment inside? As I mentioned before, because of that hollow space inside the uh, pallet, we're gonna stuff it with rock wool and then we're gonna cover it with fabric so because rock wool can be airborne and it can be um, kind of irritating. And then we're gonna use the acoustic blankets. Acoustic blankets produces choice. It's a great sound absorber. And we're gonna line it on the inside and that will make a dead sound. It will cancel all reflections, all possible. And uh, it's gonna be nice, acoustically dead environment. We can also use uh, different you know, features to make it bright, like acoustic panels and uh, that's in a nutshell how we're going to build the booth out of the pilots. <laughs>